Being a leader is both a privilege and an honor. Leaders have qualities that others don't have, and so they rise to the top, and that's what we're looking for when we look for leaders. I hear all the time in the position that I'm in now when I'm interviewing uh, teachers, one of the things they always say is, I want my kids to respect me. But respect doesn't just automatically come, it's earned. They see something that they feel like needs to happen, and they're um, charged, and they can't resist uh, working toward that. A leader needs to be accessible to their team. When your teachers come to you as a principal or as a leader and they ask, do you have some time? You might really want to say, no, I really don't have time. But you need to be accessible, open your door and give them all the time that they need to discuss their concerns with you. I think one of the most important qualities of a leader is effective communication you're going to spend a lifetime developing your communication skills. You communicate with honesty, you are trustworthy, you're good for your word. Um, the old saying that you talk the talk but then you walk the walk, that's just true of somebody with integrity and I think that although leaders without integrity have followers for a period of time, leaders with integrity um, have followers for a long time. As long as they want to lead, they're going to have people. And I think a true leader is going to be someone who will never ask anyone in the organization to do anything that they themselves would not be willing to do. No matter what the person's position is in the organization, all people need to know that they're communicated with effectively and that they have a sense of understanding of what's being accomplished and they're all working toward that same common goal. You've got to be able to build relationships with people if you expect them to, to follow you wherever you go and to, to give you the respect as a leader. Leaders who really stay the course and are leaders over a long period of time have integrity and that if you don't have that you fall by the wayside pretty quickly and you know integrity uh, is just being the person that uh, you show other people that, that you're that same person all of the time. A true leader is someone who's going to look in the mirror first rather than looking out the window and I think that's so true. Uh, most leaders are going to want to um, get the pats on the back and take, uh, take responsibility for things when everything's going well, but they're not so quick to uh, take responsibility for things when they're not going so well. One of the first most important qualities that a leader is gonna have is that a leader is able to inspire action. The people around you have to see that you're willing to take risk and that you're willing to support others in risk taking as well. So by inspiring action, a quality leader sees the best in others and capitalizes on the qualities that they have to make them successful. I think we really miss the boat sometimes in taking time to develop those relationships and nurture them. Sometimes we think we're too busy um, to spend time on people and that really, um, is not going to help us be better and realize that vision. It is a privilege to be a leader, whether it's the formal leader of your campus or an informal leader like a teacher leader. Use this privilege to make your school better, stronger, because in the end we're all there for the same purpose and that is to help and to serve our students. When I think of an effective leader, I think of someone who has a strong vision that they're able to communicate through their compassion, their words, and truly their actions. When I think of an effective leader, I think of someone that has great relationships with those they lead. They're able to understand the person's strengths and weaknesses. They build on the weaknesses to support the strengths. When I think of a good leader, I think of someone who adds value and quality to employment. One of the characteristics of a leader is someone who is a visionary, almost like a magician. They are able to take their current situation and make the future appear almost out of thin air. They are able to embrace inevitable changes and plan for those changes wisely. Good leaders like to duplicate themselves. So what they do is build relationships and they find potential in others in order to develop those qualities, of course, in order to develop their vision. And finally, good leaders are optimistic. They're not defeated by pitfalls or by roadblocks. Their belief in their vision is so strong that failure is unimaginable. 
So they conjure up imaginative and innovative ways to realize their vision.